Hey, hey, Sharice. What's up, lady? What you doing, hey, girl? Everybody? I'm trying. To. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Grown Women Gaming, Volume 67. We are so close getting to that hundred, people. To that hundred. Um, and today is a special episode. Very special. It is just me and my home girl, Lady Infamous. Lady Infamous, what you got for me today, girl? Hey, how you guys doing? This is me, um, Lady Infamous four one five. You know me. Um, it's a little we we have uh El Boogie and Delilah. They off doing big things in Seattle, so they're not here with us. So I want to give a shout out to my lovely girls. Eat good, have fun. You know. Buy me some swag, you know, some keychains, some lanyards, you know, some nice. I, had, I need some pins in my purse now, you know. Hey, hey. I put pins in my apron at work, so it's okay. I like. I thought I, about that. You don't do that? I, well, that's what I do. That's what I do. I put like. I got a, 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 what you call it, a messenger bag, and I put them on there. Oh, man, I think I'm going to I need a new bag anyway. Anyway, how you guys doing this morning? Um, I'm. What I have been playing lately? Okay, last night I've been playing uh, Earth Defense Force Five with the Bay Area Cool Kids Club, and let me see. I also played the Division this week, uh, which is um okay. It's it has minor bugs, minor bugs, but it's fun to play with friends. I tell you, it is it's so much easier than it was with the first game. I also played. What else I play? Oh, I've been ranking up my le- uh my alloy uh for Horizon Zero Dawn because I'm I'm trying to beat the game, but my level is not high enough. So I had to backtrack a couple of levels. So I'm doing like a lot of side missions, a lot of uh control corrupted zones, a lot of errands, stuff like that, so I can get my get my level up, so I can be able to beat the boss. Cause I'm gonna beat the boss. I just need my level to be up, and I'm I'm like 32 or 31 right now. So. Mm. Okay, we're gonna back up. What's what is Earth Defense? Whatever, because I watched a little bit of your gameplay last night, and I was like, I have no idea what the hell is going on. What is that game? Uh, it is a it's a game of you can play as a group of soldiers that the there's a quote unquote aliens bugs, aliens that's like trying to take over the planet, and your job is to like kill them. That's it. And there's like maybe three hundred levels to this game. So it's oh, damn. yeah, because it's like a hundred, like a hundred levels for each rank for like normal, regular. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, easy, regular, hard, and shit. So it's all together. It's like three hundred, like three hundred levels in there, and we're playing on normal. So the bugs are like big frogs, big ass <laughs> ants, purple ants that come and bite you, UFOs that be all up in your face, and then. It's 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 fun to play with the Bay Area squad. So yeah, that's nice. Well, I've been of course when I did play this week because work was hellish this week. Um, of course I played the division. Um, that's all I've been playing basically. But I did take a break to play the Mortal Kombat beta, which we'll get into later. Um, but yeah, the division the division is fun. It, I'm not gonna lie, when you play for a while, a long time, it can get boring if you play it by yourself. But when you got friends. Um, because like last night, me and um, lady played with um one of our other friends. It be awesome. Like we are cracking jokes, laughing. It's it's hella fun with friends. So if you um got the vision, play with some friends. But yeah. Let's see. Now we're gonna get into these topics. This week has been a very um good week for gaming. Good mm-hmm. week. Did you see the Borderlands Three trailer? Man, they better. I was like, before they pulled the trailer out, like they better put that out because if not, they're gonna be some. They're gonna be some salty people, myself included. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, I was like, Portland Three. <laughs> where's that? Where? I'm telling you, I love games that is n- doesn't have the quote unquote normal setting. You know, I like my outer spaces. I like my different dimensions. I like my different worlds. And the Borderland world to me was was great. You meet people, they're they're not cookie cutter, they're not nice sometimes, they'll cuss you out. Yeah. I had a good I had a good experience with the Borderlands series, except the Telltale game. We're not gonna Let's talk not about ta- we, we gotta talk about that. But <laughs> it's a tell- it's a Borderland game. So we have no. To- no? We, we, it's, no, it's not a Borderlands game. We, okay. We just, that we're, gonna, we're gonna pretend that game is not in the 
in the the storyline, the overall oh, world. Okay, because uh, just... okay, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. Borderlands yeah. One was fire, straight fire. If you had friends, and it was just, mwah, just the experience overall was great. Um, I played a little bit of two. And they, were, they tweaked a couple of different things, like uh, UI-wise, to Borderlands 2 that I probably didn't like. Because, like, for a few hours, you, you're you used to one certain setup, right? And as soon as, like, you change a modification or you change your style of weapon, you have to change your complete game style. So, But for Borderlands 3... Uh, I'm just ready for the story. I want to see what they're going to go with this because I know we're going to be collected. We're hunting vaults. That's all I know. Um, of course. And then they also brought back uh, so like some of the other characters from 1 and 2 are also in 3. I'm, At least that, that's what it look, they look like to me. Yeah. The, um, I, I, but I so. since we mentioned the first one, they are also bringing the remastering part 1 and um, updating parts 2 and the prequel. Man. Um, so, that takes your life away. It literally takes your life away. I can't do it. I, you can't I, do it. You can't be on that Borderlands no more like that. Man, uh, uh, uh. it's just so much. It's so much, and it's like I got so much on my plate. I'd rather play a game I never played, like say Wolfenstein Two. You know what I mean? Versus a game that I already played and put a ridiculous a remaster version. You know me, how I feel about remasters. They, it has to be really, really good to really excite me. Um, if you guys never played Borderlands, because there is a few people that don't play Borderlands, um, or never played it. Not that they don't, they just never played it. Uh, try to get the remastered version, or if you got uh the the physical disc, play it on your Xbox. You know, it's backwards compatible. So, um, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I, I'm gonna get it day one. Ain't gonna be no pre order though. Cause <laughs> no more pre orders. No more pre orders. You pre-order. know what? You know what I remember most about the Borderlands. Borderlands you, games is yeah. the opening theme song. Yeah. Um. They had the some first one was yeah. The, what was it? No rest for the wicked. I had to put that shit on my um. That was my ringtone for like a good three months after that um game dropped. Oh um, really? That's good. I, yeah. I also, uh, music is a it's a good for me. It's a good element for the game. Um. I think it adds a piece of immersion i would say it does it does if i said that correctly um i don't want to it it do it do because it just it helps it helps you get into the game much better i can't have i i rarely hear a game that doesn't have like like sleeping dogs they soundtrack was fire so oh yes that was a good one that was a good one so um i'm all for it i i can't wait i can't wait I think that's my only complaint about the division is that there's no music or maybe there's a not enough music. And so when you're like not in the Girl, ain't house, no music behind all yeah. those bullets. And, yes. uh, 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 uh. and <laughs> no, I don't think not. I mean, I mean, if you was like in your base of operations, you know what I mean? And there was music there, that'd be fine. But or yeah. like your or, or like, you know, like. That building where the rooftop at, I forgot what it was called. Um, the um, theater. The theater yeah, settlement. The, yeah, the theater settlement. I mean, all I hear is even people talking la, 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 like, you, like they're really serious. Like, they try. I, I want them to be relaxed. You know what I mean? Even though we're going through some things, <laughs> I don't see nobody smiling. I don't see nobody playing. I don't see nobody laughing. I see people like being serious, getting to work behind the desk everything so but I, like i said i'm let's see if we can try to get grown women gaming on borderlands 3 i'm down oh 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 don't say it now so hey, hey i was trying to be good but we have to see what boogie and delilah say so <laughs> that would be an awesome game night yes it would be oh y'all remind us about this in the future when it drops um but yeah about that that borderlands that was a good that was a good series though Mhm. All right. On to our next topic. Okay, this is me and this is basically for me and Lady, since this is you know our show today. Um, <laughs> Stop. Hey, I know, right? What you think about that Mortal Kombat, huh? Man, huh? man, it feels good. 
it feels there's some things that I don't know about, uh, like the uh, the office def uh, offensive defense power bar on your lower corner, like lower left or lower right of your um, of your bar. I don't know how to activate those yet, but I'm figuring it out. I re they really don't they really throw you in the in the shit like. Here, we're not going <laughs> to tell you the moves. We're not going to tell you the uppercuts. We're not going to tell you the combos. We're not going to tell you the fatalities. You had to figure it out. The only way you can be able to see the move list is like when you're playing actually online. And they can hit you while you're looking at the screen. So at one point, like I was playing with this random person and based on her, her, her name was like Silver Sylvia or, or Sexy Sylvia or something. So we did a little, we, we, we didn't have a mic. So what we did was we we crouched like three times and that was like our cue to like time out. So we to check the move list. And then <laughs> nice. And then when we crouched down three times again, that's when we knew that we were done looking and we were fighting. Um they will throw you in with with nothing. And yo, I, I as much as I love Scorpion, as much as I love Scorpion, I am so tired of Scorpion on the beta because I was like, okay, we, we had five players. You gonna play the player that you play the most? And then you going to I'm like, yo, I was I was really on the new players like Cabal and Scarlet and Jade. I didn't really like Baraka. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I did not like Baraka. I did not I, like Baraka. I, I hated playing against people with Baraka because they always did the little chopping moves with the long blades on his arms. Like what the like I was cussing. Um but yes. Um, I know like the basics moves, like uppercut, like a you know a short little three punch combo, but none of the the intricate, the, the big stuff. I don't. I'm still learning that part of yeah. Yeah, you like juggling but, and trans yeah. teleporting. Yeah, I'm like I I knew I I blocked. I knew how to block better. I tell you that much. So, but <laughs> yeah, you have to learn. Um, you have to learn how to block. But I'm so feeling this game, man. The the animation is smooth. The, um, the the <laughs> facial features, the damage is like on point. Like it really feels like a real live fighting game when you like you know beating the shit out of folks. Um, is I don't know. It's just it's colorful, but it's dark. It's bright, but it's not. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's um think of it like we were saying last night. Think of Injustice Two, but better because Injustice Two was a great game, a great fighting game. They definitely um, put they definitely put some Injustice Two uh things in that game it's, it's it's sprinkled on there so yeah oh yeah oh yeah um i can't wait to see the finished product um like the and i remember in the way the last in mortal Kombat, the different towers they did and stuff i can't wait to see them do that or the story mode is gonna be excellent and then they got the um with the the crypt and they got my boy shane song the original from the movie playing him oh my god like they have got to sorry, do a young I'm version sorry. who who uh shane the original song? The, the original, original one from, from the movie the first movie from the first movie he is in the game you what's lying. the character that's, that's i am a, not lying I, no is he who is he <laughs> playing is he playing that shang sun though yes ah! yes <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry y'all but i know like video game movies are trash like all of them but mortal kombat is a is a cloak classic and that guy i the love actor, that shit he, whoever that dude that played Shang Tsung in that first movie, that stuck with me girl. till now, and I'm like, oh, oh my girl, God. That's, that's daddy dreams right now. That's that's daddy. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not that. It's just that he just played that oh, role so good. Oh, he did. Oh, and he's he's. I mean, he said he did the mocap for it. His pic they using his face. Um, they got the old version and they got the young version. Um, hopefully as a, as a skin. But he is in the game, and you go to his island. The game takes place on his island, and the crypt, the crypt is on his island, and he's guiding you through it. Oh, really? Is this on a beta? This not on a beta, but I it, when they did some kind of uh, some kind of podcast earlier this week, they announced it all. Oh, okay. Because I knew I know they had like a like a, a live stream. Yeah, before, on right before right right before it came out, so. I knew that they leaked some of the characters, though. Oh yeah, I'm trying not to like watch that the leaked characters because I don't. I, I, I did. I had to. <laughs> I had to. Okay, what they what they got in? What they got? They got Devora, and she's some and she and, and what what I saw was Devora looking like an android. 
So I don't know what's happening with that. Um, they said uh, Rain is going to be there. They're going to say Liu Kang already confirmed. Uh, oh yeah, Jack Young already confirmed. Nice Kung Lao, I think he's all confirmed as well. Um, but that's confirmed. Like Jack, Kung Lao, and um, Liu Kang, they confirm. Ah, uh, Devora and Rain. That I just saw it through the internet, so I, I can't confirm that. <laughs> I'm just telling you based of what I saw. But um, I might double. Yo, I might double dip on this game. <sighs> I might double dip. I'm telling yeah, you. I'm doing Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah. I because I as with with me, um, I tried it when it comes to like series of games, like for example, NBA Live. Like last year I played it on PlayStation. This year I played it on Xbox to be fair. So I got the PlayStation, I got the Mortal Kombat on PlayStation. It's already it's already pre downloaded. I already know. took the day off. I'm on. I already thought about what I'm gonna eat. I already thought about what I'm gonna drink. I know I'm gonna take a nap. I mean, but I I want to play with my online friends on Xbox. So most likely I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale, and um, and get it on Xbox, and then I'll just transition the controls from PlayStation to Xbox, and it should be an easy transition. So, Sounds, but yeah. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really like really amped up about the game. I. I'm a Mortal Kombat girl since day one. Oh, you never keep, left. Y'all can keep Street Fighter. Y'all can keep that. I will. I will gladly take Mortal Kombat. And did did you see the blood animations though? Oh my God, it's so pretty. Scarlet, Scarlet, and her little blood. What was that? A sword or something? She like pulls out through. I don't know where she pulling that from, but it's like made out of blood or whatever. Yo, yo, oh my I, God. I, 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 yo, I think I got a crush on Scarlet because what she did with O left. positive, with the variation <laughs> O positive, is like. She used she used the she used the blood from her, put it on you, and you take access like more damage. And her X rays are amazing. Her fatal blow is great. Um, Jade, I have to get used to Jade. Uh, one of her variations is really good. I think it's called the Adina Princess variation, where she before when she was hanging with Katana and before she yeah. got into that shit. <laughs> Before she got that, that made, shit, <laughs> that made her a revenant right now. Uh, if you guys yeah. don't know the story, uh, Jay got killed and she got turned into a revenant. I'm sorry, I, you know I love my Mortal Kombat. <laughs> hey, okay, then that's the case. Then Luke Kang dead. Um, Kung yep. was dead. Um, everybody is basically dead almost, but the combat key is now use that in quotation marks. Um, oh. yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone, yeah. Fox. I'm gonna leave your Street Fighter alone, but I just have to be honest, though. You know, what I mean. If one would if one will not exist tomorrow, Street Fighter will not exist to me tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just telling you. So I want. <laughs> I, I like Street Fighter a little bit, a little bit. They got some Man. cheap ass um, fighters, but hey, it's alright. It's alright. I'm telling you. Um, what else? Um, I wish they had a practice mode. Yeah, I'm sure they I, have one in the real game, but they didn't have it in the beta. And I wish they had one in the beta. They, cause man, I'm like, you really. You didn't if you didn't like freeze frame or screenshot it your moves, you was you was asked out. And that's that's what I didn't do on my six hour stream was not screenshot the the moves. So I had my mod just say, I was like, I can figure out the basics. Just let me know the fatalities. So he was showing me the fatalities on my screen. But other than that, I didn't have no help. Cause I, but you had people like playing four hundred games. I'm like, what? <laughs> My my win odd is like fifteen percent or twenty three percent. You think I'm gonna fight you? No. Yeah, I think mine less than that. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, I think I won. Like I, I played for maybe maybe about an hour hour and a half, and I think I won maybe four matches. Like I was just too busy switching characters and trying to get a feel. Like I never stuck with one character long enough to actually get a total feel for it uh -huh. because. I just want to try them all out. Oh, and, what, um, what I did was, what I did was, I did like the hour, the out, like per hour, like one hour was Jade, one hour was Cabal. I think I play with Cabal the most, though, and I think I play Baraka the least. So I, I hate was, Cabal though. Man, you tripping? They just look stupid. Man, they just look stupid. You, but you don't understand what that man went through. So how you gonna make that? He, he looks stupid. You know like, what? His off. combos, his combos is cool. I like his variations. I like how you customize the characters now so they don't look like, 
the look like the ordinary character. I mean, his fatality. Oh my. Okay, we're gonna have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as we both agree that Baraka sucks. Okay, we cool with that. I can agree with that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anything else we need to say about Mortal Kombat? Catch me. Uh, I'm a streaming day one all night on PlayStation. Let's go. <laughs> Team no sleep. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be on Xbox on Mixer, so you know. Hey, at least if we if we cross all platforms, that's just great, ain't it? Oh my God, yeah, it'll be awesome. Hey, hey, Sony, Microsoft, get on that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is day one by people. Mortal Kombat is gonna be excellent. Um, y'all, you need to get on that. Go ahead and pre-order for you get. Uh, what's his name? That Shao Kahn, now, that's a cheap ass boss. I don't care what yo, nobody says. Yo, Shao Kahn, unless you play Shao Kahn on Mortal Kombat 3, man, don't talk to me. Cause Girl, he, that, I hated he, his he ass was, on He cheated, he cheated so much. He cheated so much, he, he could have made nachos with the cheese oh he God. had on that game. You but yeah. we had a big ass hammer and he would just go halfway across the screen with it. And, and he'd be like, ha, 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 you're pathetic. Oh my, oh my And then God. he'll shoulder slam you. I'm like, yo, I'm cool, fam. I'm cool, fam. Oh my god! So you expect I, that with the pre-order? <laughs> I can't I, with him. He's so he's so cheap. Oh my god! And he didn't get no belt, but he got a little bit better as he was in games. But no, I hate him. But I'm I'm gonna kick his ass this time. Okay, we gonna get him. We gonna get him. We, we got to watch the cheese. <laughs> watch the <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't be throwing controllers. They cost too much nowadays. Man, um, let you tell it. Let you tell it. <laughs> Let you yeah. tell it. Uh, if you're a fighter and you like, if you're a Mortal Kombat fat, fan, just at least get the base game. At least get the base game. If you feel like getting the DLCs, that's up to you. But at least get the base game. At least. Yeah. And you know it's going to be on sale sooner or later. The, oh, that's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting to be on sale so I can get it on Xbox. Yeah. That summer sale they be doing. Yeah. Catch it then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. On to our next topic. Um, Did anybody, did you catch Sony's state of play? Uh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, okay. We're gonna try not to be petty here. We're gonna we're gonna be calm, cool, and collected. We're gonna okay. pretend that the Lala is here and she's telling us to be nice. We gotta be honest too. Uh, true. Okay. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna start off there. What the fuck were the games at? Um they didn't show number they didn't show number of VR games. No offense, I don't care about VR. Um, I don't have a VR system. So that just completely like completely completely me single me out from the whole program. Um, I personally, it's too it was too short for me, man. It was I like was, what 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, first of all, okay, I got a PlayStation. I own a PlayStation. I buy their products. As a consumer, I would love to see what plans they have for the future of their product um are you gonna find ways to connect with your fans since you don't ain't going to e3 um are you gonna give us some remastered playstation exclusive games um what is the future for playstation as a whole um something like that you know and that's not what i saw so it makes me weary of my of the of my product that i purchased because I don't want my I don't want my like I don't want my electronic items that I use to play video games to collect dust. And in order for it to collect dust, I'm not touching it. So right now, like other than the other than the Mortal Kombat that's that's already pre ordered, what else would I be playing? Like that's new, that's new or at least two years old. What days gone? That's the next one, right? <laughs> yeah, but that ain't coming out to next gen. Didn't it say it was coming out? Like soon? Mm, you know, soon for Sony is like three years. Oh man, I thought they was coming out next month. If it if it comes out, I thought they. I'm like, I could be incorrect. Hold on, I thought Days Gone was coming out next month, like on the 16th. Days Gone. Hold on. I could be wrong, you know. I... Um. Oh yeah, April 26th. So yeah, you're right. But then what's coming out after that? I'm telling you. 
you look, telling look, me now now it's like closer and closer to the point that okay i gotta buy another i gotta buy another i gotta buy ps5 to get a uh, death strand in to get the last of us 2 i'm like for real so they made this shit best compatible. So I kind of like lightweight. I kind of like lightweight. Feel got bamboozled. You feel me? Because like two or like two years ago, I was like, "Yo, Death Strand is about to come out. Yo, The Last of Us Two is about to come out." Not fully understanding how video games work. So now, what? I have I have my PS4, and I think there's not going to be any no, more new titles in the future. So what I'm gonna do? That state of play was was. Y'all, the people who talk shit about Nintendo Directs and Xbox, uh, inside Xbox show, y'all can't talk shit about, <laughs> y'all can't talk, y'all can't say nothing. Y'all can't say nothing about the state of play. And I ain't gonna say, it's a, fa- it's a famous, it's a famous, uh, gamer content creator who's very PlayStation 4 focused. I ain't gonna say his name because I ain't gonna put him out there. But he was like, yo, this is a mini E3 and, "Quote unquote mini E3." I'm like, are you are you that blind, fam? Are you that I, you cannot be blind to the brand? I don't care what brand it is. Every if you gonna sit here and tell me that um, PlayStation State of Play covered all all aspects of their gaming uh, of their gaming division in Sony, I'm telling you that's a lie because all they did was show trailers and VR. Yeah, and, and yeah. if you ain't got no VR, so what was the what was the state of play for you? It wasn't for you then. You should have really just wasn't. said it should have said state of play VR edition. Yeah, we are gonna talk about how Sony pulled down the show off YouTube and then re-uploaded it later because it got so many dislikes. We gonna comment on that part, you know. But hey, it's all right. Um, so okay, so we got Ghost of Tashuma and then we got Days Gone. Okay, what's the, what's okay. The ghost one? The Ghost of Tsushima, that's a PlayStation exclusive. It's it's supposed to be it's a good samurai game, but my issue is why did they pro- did they promote that on the game in in the show? Or what? Because if it was, it wasn't enough. And they I got would, no release date. I'm so, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's just like it's just they ain't got no release date. Um, so they can't really announce it or say anything. If they're trying to, again, they need to stop releasing games so far in advance. That's one of my main issues with Sony. They release, they tell you about games just like three, four, five years in the make it, and it expects you to stick around and wait for them. I got other shit to do with this money. Um, they don't I want that wait. money. They don't want that money. Because now we have to wait till what? If they have a PlayStation experience this year. You know what I mean? And if they really don't have a PlayStation experience this year, then pfft, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, they're gonna have they're gonna have something. They might they have. have a, I don't think they're gonna have a presence at E3. They might do it like a Nintendo and do something offsite, but they're gonna be at E3. You think they're gonna go offsite and, and do what? I think so. I think so. They have it, to, and plus they gotta save face with this state of play thing. They have to show up. But the, but they but they're not gonna have a conference. No, I don't think they're gonna have a conference. I think they're gonna, what they're you gonna, mean, like they're gonna have like drink. an offsite party or offsite experience. Maybe or maybe like a like a VIP only for so and then they're gonna like for at least they can hey be a, they keep that exclusive brand that they got going and and it might not be like an actual conference, but it'd be like a, a where you can mingle with people from Sony or the, from developers. Like it's VIP only. Keep it very exclusive, very whatever because they gotta do something. You cannot uh, let this biggest time of the year go by without man, something going on. Man. I refuse to believe that. I man, they gonna have a play. They gonna have a PlayStation store outside E3 because <laughs> that's what they did last uh, last year. They they put a PlayStation store right outside of E3, right in front of the gate. So right before you get in, you can go to the PlayStation store and buy PlayStation plushies, PlayStation lights. I would, I wanted the PlayStation lights to be honest with you. Uh, what the you hell know, is a PlayStation plushie? Plus plushie? What is it? Like is a Bandicoot, thing? like PlayStation exclusive it, characters uh, on a plushie. What? Bandicoot scares the fuck out of me. Like, why his head is so much bigger than his legs? Dude no, is a mushroom. I'm sorry. Um, people, but it's a classic game though. Crash Bandicoot. I really didn't. I already knew his proportion was weird, but it's a classic <laughs> game. 
<laughs> it's a classic game. I can't, I can't knock, I can't knock it. I can't knock Crash Bandicoot like that. I, I remember playing him hard. So, um, well, how do you feel about the state of play, uh, Sharif? I, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I low key, I didn't like it. I didn't. I, th- I maybe again maybe I had my expectations were too high. I expected updates on actual games, not VR, because to me VR is not an actual game experience because most gamers do not have the investment to do it. Um, we we just don't, or we don't have the setup for it. Like I don't have the room for a VR system in my house, um, so I'm not even looking to invest into that. So to me, that was a waste of space. You could have just released that shit in a press release and called it a day. If you're gonna make a whole show about your again, name a state of play, so this is games that you can actually play, you need games. Um, you could have get I understand you're not announcing anything new, but you kinda gave updates on stuff that you have coming up. And as far as I know, they they did the what the Mortal Kombat trailer, that's when the new trailer release was on the show. Mm-hmm. And what you said, Day is gone, that's it. Out of a twenty minute show, and that's the only thing we get out of it. I'm so disappointed in you. They Tony. had VR games, so Mm-mm. nope, don't count. It, it if I'd have count. paid, uh, if I'd have paid money for that, I'd ask for a refund. Oh wow! Well, I hope they. Is this just a one and done show, or are they going to continue to do it? That's the question. I think that honestly, <laughs> I want them to continue to do it. I want them to do something like it, it's like Xbox is what once a month, right? Mm-hmm. I want to, and the, the ten of the rates is like every four or five weeks, I think. Um, I want them to do this at least once a month because, as much as we're getting on them and ragging on them, you're not going to get better at it unless you actually continue to do it. You got to make mistakes to get better. Um, look no. at Microsoft; they make them every other week. <laughs> 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 so you know, we, you know, you got to continue to do so, Saudi. You know, wipe away your tears, dust your. your your ales off and get back in the studio and make this show better. Yep. That's yep. You, that was right. You right. Yeah. Any, anything just, else? Anything else on state of play? No, I'm good. I'm just I'm good kind of that. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> kind of disappointed. <laughs> I kind of disappointed. All right. And in still gaming news. I know lady, aren't you an Apple fan? You're an Apple person, aren't you? Man, I only got a phone. You want to talk to uh, El Boogie? She got the phone, the watch. Oh yeah, the Mac right. Air. The yeah, Mac we need Air. to it right now. Yeah, uh, because uh, Apple announced the Apple Arcade, which is a basically almost like um, Game Pass. It's, it's gonna be a monthly subscription where paid games will be in this program. You can play any of the paid games; they will be ad free. Um, and something else. They'll be ad free. I can't remember if they did a subscription, how much subscription cost is, but it will be monthly. Um, and something else. It's oh, it's picked by Apple. The Apple will pick the games that is in this um, this arcade. That's they're in this system. Um, thoughts on this, lady? I can keep that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, um, tell us how you really feel. No, because first of all, okay, look, this is the thing about me. If you, first of all, you Apple, you got a heads up on technology for you to shell out these $700 game, uh, $700 phones, $900, $1,000 phone. Y'all should have invested more in the video game industry way before you should be pushing these Apple Apple phones every year. You know what I mean? Uh, it was cool at first. But now more and more people are having an issue with Apple products. Uh, for me, I felt like they should have, like they should have, like maybe four or five years ago, really invested in what they can produce as far as get video games is concerned. Because before, like five years ago, we didn't have no, we didn't have no Pub Jesus, we didn't have no Fortnite, <laughs> we didn't have no Apex. You know what I mean? That was a golden opportunity. To for them to be like, make up something to make an impact for right now, but you're not. Apple is competing with Google. You know what I mean? Xbox and 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 Steam and Sony. They're not tripping on Google and Apple. They gotta catch Google and Apple. Gotta catch up to them. So they Google and Apple in the same predicament. They should have did what they were supposed to be doing now, way earlier, way earlier. 
So you know what? I can't even fault that because you're kind of right. Like you're kind of late to the game, um, Apple. Um, Man, if you late, you ain't gonna make no money. Um, yeah, yeah. I can kind of understand. This is this is be also for um parents to a certain extent. Um, who you know because you just you got child kids. IPads, yeah. I can kind of see it. Or or better yet, if they include in-game purchases with the game. You know they're not. You know they're I, not. That would that would sweeten the pot. Like you, you can do a certain amount each month. Like hey, and again, how much is even the subscription service is? I don't remember reading anything about that part. Um, probably probably ten dollars. It think should so? be the same. It should be the same as Apple iTunes. But but how much? How many games should be in this in the subscription service for ten dollars a month? We don't know what games they got yet. This is true. Um, I know they got some by the the creator of Final Fantasy. I remember reading that one. Um. Another one, but so I'm assuming this is like the ones that is um, the the games that are in the price range between nine to fifteen dollars. You know, no, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not really paying to buy a game on my mobile. I might do in-app purchases, but I'm not going to pay for a game on my mobile. So I could kind of understand doing this, kind of. I just it's late though. I already got Game Pass. I got you got Game Pass. You got PlayStation Plus. You got Steam, which you don't yeah. need a membership. You just need an internet. And, and a Steam card, and, yeah. and a Steam gift card, and you in there like swimwear. And I keep, I just got the PC, so I'm like, I forgot. I don't need to like buy a membership to buy a game on Steam. So that's that's a that's a that's easy. You know, that's that's kind of relief because because sometimes it's always that time that hey, I gotta renew my PSN. Oh, I gotta renew my Xbox. Oh, I got yeah. Game Pass. Oh, I gotta renew that too. You know what I mean? I wish I, I could need, the line I don't, up. I don't need. I need them to be. Oh, I need them to all lump some one month everything. You know what I mean? You can get it's the Xbox. Yeah, like Xbox Game Pass, um, Gold. Combine that together, one solid price for a year. That'd be great. You know what I mean? As well as um, with PlayStation, bundle that shit. Bundle PlayStation Plus with now. If they still got now, I don't know if they do, but probably not. Um, <laughs> but um, you, they can. Uh, but they compete. Old Primal Data. He talking about um, don't trust Apple to create good games. They might get good. That's that's give another thing. They'll tell you pick the games. They'll tell. I tell you, Apple know how to tell you that you got an appointment at you know. 2.30 on Friday the 19th, 2000 something something at 123 Main <laughs> Road and it's going to be sunny outside and here's the directions to get you there. But a video game? Come on, man. I, I can't trust it either. <laughs> I'm so done with you. <laughs> what you mean? Look here. Look. They, look don't, haven't they suggested good music somewhat sometimes? Um, like Maybe I don't know. Like they should be able. To, the games that's going in this service should be a different collection. There should be some RPGs, should be some action, some card games, some some a little bit of everything until they can narrow down exactly what they are going to do with it. But yeah. um, I don't. I can't. I can't have another. I don't. I, I don't. I just don't. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't, I don't see myself paying for another gaming subscription. Yeah, well, I'm on Android, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. You okay. know, Note Nine, Note Nine. Okay. 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 Don't worry. Google, they Google, Google got you though. I know, right? I, I still don't you like. You talking Instagram about me? Media. But Google got you though. I know. I know. They got Google probably know my damn shoe size. Probably so. So, <laughs> it, it's like if you're ready to pay for another service to play get video games. I'm not going to knock you at all. I'm not doing it. That's I might side eye you, though. Nah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you got, oh, you got money. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But yeah, I, I just don't see myself buying another uh, streaming service subscription. I just, I can't do it. I can't do can't it. Do. That's also like all these damn, the TV, like we cut cable, but yet we have so many different TV streamings. Hell, we might as well have another cable bill. Same thing with gaming now. Mm-hmm. It's just too much. It's too much. Um, but yes, moving on. Did you hear about that we might, that the Switch is, is being redone later on this summer, that we might get two different versions of the Switch? Um, 
one for a won't have the hard drive It'd be i guess it's only be online only like everything else is going and more with a larger hard drive i believe mm-hmm. they, i'm glad to hear they're gonna put a higher uh hard drive in there because yeah that 32 was tr- i don't know <clears throat> i think that 32 gigabyte storage excuse me that 32 gigabyte storage at the initial launch was fucking trash um compared to what minimum 500 gigabytes on the xbox or playstation so um I, I don't know, man. I, my hands be looking kind of sweaty looking at the Switch, man. I be talking shit about Nintendo, man. <laughs> but, but you know you want to play Smash? No, I want to, like, when I travel, right, I don't want to, oh, yeah. like, bring my big-ass Xbox or my big-ass play. Like, okay, a Switch will be great if, if when I go to TwitchCon in San Diego. I can be chilling, you know, playing a game in my hotel room or on the plane on the airport, you know, something like that. Those type of niches, they they be that's the thing that really wants me to get a Switch. The thing about the Switch, though, is these new upgraded versions going to be expensive? Or are they going to be the base price? Or are they probably going to be more with the more storage space that they have? But um, m- probably me, I ain't even worried about it because I'm just going to have to buy me a stronger, what, the gigabyte, uh, like a bigger gigabyte to slap in there and a screen protector. Yeah. And I'll, okay. I'll get the vanilla version of the Switch, and they're going to drop the price in that if they're going to have two better versions coming out in the summer. I that, thought about that. Mm-hmm. So, what, the Switch is, what, two ninety nine still? Yeah. the cheapest I, I saw it was, like, two thirty. Yeah, that's during the holidays, maybe. Um, what I what I want, what what kills me about the Switch, and, I, you know, I play it with my daughter. Um mm-hmm. It's not even as powerful as like the original 360 or PlayStation 3. It's like oh, it's barely on par with them. It's like a minor upgrade from like GameCube or something. Maybe the Wii. Maybe. Um, if are they going to increase the graphics? Are they going to um, hell make it more sturdier? Because my child is clumsy as fuck. Like uh, when she walk in and she trips and it falls out her hand, will I have to pray when she pick it up? Like. Work with me a little bit, Nintendo. Work with me. Um, I just, I just wanted to be, I wanted to be, bring it up to date. Just bring it to this decade, not last decade, this decade. I just low key want to complete the square of gaming. You feel me? Xbox, <laughs> PlayStation, PC, and Nintendo. Oh, uh, the, the holy just grail. Just to say to have it all, just to say to have them all, is just mm. juicing me up. But I hope they get new, they get better games. Uh. I know they got a cu- they got a couple of they got a couple of them um that's good right now. I, I wouldn't mind playing. I ain't gonna front. I might play Breath of the Wild, and I ain't played a Zelda game in a minute. But I heard that people been talking about that game like it's fire. But um, until that price go down, I'm not even gonna smell uh that that switch to be honest. No, because I low key still feel I low key still feel that the prices that they're giving out for that Nintendo Switch does not equal up to the to the quality of the product that they're sending out. And that's my number one issue. I ain't gonna lie. I do when I hold a controller, I feel like I'm breaking that shit. Like it don't feel sturdy at all. Uh, for three hundred dollars, like I'd rather go ball out on Amazon and buy books. Um Okay. It, you know me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying I'd rather buy some pops. Um it just I be I like it's I don't know. My hands too big. I'm s i am do not know what it is. I don't know. I just like again, my daughter loves it. I played with her. I basically got it to play with her, play with her on hers. Um, so we we play Spash, we play um, some Rabbitits games or something. I don't know. Um, but I just for me, I cannot see you having the Switch as your main console. For the people who do, more power to you. But that is not a main console system. Um, it just ain't. Like Lady said, that's for traveling. That's for um, that's traveling. For yeah, like, that's given to your little cousin. Who like, hey, we're going to go to E3. Let's be, all bring our Switch. You know, something like that. But yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't, I can't be it. on a bus with my Switch. This is it, it, this is the city. They might they might smack me and try to take my Switch. I ain't, So, I mean, basically for travel purposes, that's only for me. Yeah, that, I'm with you on that one. OK. Um, But now we're going on to from the to one OG to another OG. Uh, Sega has announced the Genesis Mini in Japan. Um, 
like the PlayStation Classic, uh, like Nintendo did this. Sega has done it also. Honestly, this would be the one I might actually consider buying. Um, did they I show? Would always, did they show a list of the games that they got? Um, no, yes and no. Um, it's uh, right now they are listed. Most of the games that they listed are Japanese games that were not released here, so they have not told us all of them. Let's see. Um, of course, Sonic. Um. Alter Beast, Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl was a classic. Yes, on a um, Sega, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my mother thought that was the grossest thing ever. Um, Eco the Dolphin. Um, oh my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I heard that. I heard that dolphin yeah. was, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I said, it's classic. It's classic. Like this one is legit. Might be the only one I might actually buy. Um, I was a Genesis girl straight up. Went from Nintendo. Um, I don't think I had a Super NES. I went straight to Genesis. Um, Sega Genesis. Uh, the, 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 I just want. I might low key get this for real. Um, there's comes out September the nineteenth. Here. So I, yeah, uh, I'm assuming here. I'm looking at the website right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Genesis Mini. It comes with a total of 40 games. Only 10 has been announced so far. Oh, my. okay. So how much you think it's going to cost? Oh, they already got it. It's $80. Oh, okay. That sounds... 40 games? 40 games. $80? $80. That sounds not bad. I was going to say, you can't really knock it. It's just that it's... You know the 16-bit game, so you can probably beat a game a day if you push it. Um, you know that comes with the uh, controllers, two controllers at that. Um, the first games to be announced here it is: um, Eco the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, Space Harrier, Shining Force, um, Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Hojam and Earl, Comic Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, and Gunstar Heroes. All I, I heard like three games that that I, I might mess with through just those already yeah yeah like i'm already the ego the dolphin castlevania and no four toe jammer earl and sonic altered beast altered beast that's a yeah. classic that's yeah. a classic that's like that's that's like one of the ogs right there if i don't know if you ain't played that game well pr because you know what now i'm gonna say that people within our age range played that game so I'm 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 excited. I'm really I'm excited. I really want to see what other games that they have available. But cuz 40 games, you can't have 40 games and like you and you got like 15 or 10 that you mess with cuz then you're wasting money. You got to at least have half those games have to be popping for them to push that $80 price mark. Now, it comes with I think two controllers. That's good cuz sometimes people only got one like it's, was yeah. it? Uh, yeah. Two controllers yeah. Power, and an HDMI cable. Oh, you know, that's that's valuable. The HDMI cable <laughs> valuable in its own. <laughs> I know, right? Because uh, I, I show I show to keep some things. I go, well, I get rid of that TV, but I'm keeping that HDMI cable. You ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> I bought me yeah. two. I bought me two packs at Amazon the other day. I was like, right. But yeah, okay. if you're if you're a Sega fan, get it. If if but if before you get it, look at the game list. If it's more games that you thought you would have, then go get it. Uh I still feel like if if you have like one or two games that you want to play, then don't spend eighty dollars on it. Just get an emulator. So Yeah, you got a point. Um all right. Again, back to Sony. We're gonna all right, um, we, this is our last major topic, so if you got questions, go ahead and start posting them up. Remember to put question in bold because I'm blind and cannot see. Please um, do. Please put it in big letters. Yeah, because you're going to have to put it out. <laughs> um, Sony is going to stop selling download codes at retail. You can no longer buy codes for games. Well, it's not now. starting sometime in April, I believe. Um, you cannot buy codes for games. You can still buy um, points, PlayStation points, but you will not be able to buy the codes for the actual games. Man, I don't care. I, buy, <laughs> I 
don't yo i i really not care about that because when i go get me a when i go get my points i mean my my i get gift cards i all i do is go to amazon let me get a 25 dollars gift code or let me get a three or six month uh playstation uh code and it'll be directly on my phone i don't need to go to uh, gamestop no more i don't need to go to yeah. gamestop no more unless i want to get me some pops or some trinkets or a t-shirt <laughs> Or something like that. As far as video games is concerned, psh, I don't need to do it. I don't need to. I, I thought about it because I was like, when was the last time I even bought a actual code in a store? And I was like, I can't remember. I, I could not remember last time I actually bought a physical code in a store. Like Lady said, straight Amazon. Um, or now that buy straight off the damn um store, you know, but still. No, I don't I can un, I can see this still being a thing for like maybe adults who's buying it for their child or maybe even grandparents who's buying it for the child and you see it like in the electronic section especially at Walmart where they have them hanging up and you just pull it you know, hey okay here you go here's your game you want it um I can see it for that but most adult gamers I don't think they do that anymore they either straight get it off Amazon or buy it directly from the store so I see nothing wrong with this one I ain't tripping I am not tripping so I ain't worried about that. Yeah. So on to our first tidbit of the day. I don't, you know, I might have to, if I, you know, for my daughter. Um, if you have Twitch Prime, you can get Nintendo's online service for free of charge for a whole year. Hey, bullshit! Why they can't do that for <laughs> Xbox and PlayStation? <laughs> I don't even have a Nintendo Switch. Girl, if they did this for Nintendo, I'd be on that so quick, fast, and a hurry. But you got a Switch. But you, but. True. We, the thing, but I, I got the online service, and it's because it sucks. That's why they're giving it out for a year for free. Free, yeah. And the only reason you would get on to me is to get the free games that, come, that comes with it. Because if you down get that free online service, to get the online service, you get an extra uh, uh, 10, 15 games through their online service. Um, mm -hmm. That's the only reason to me. And I just, hell, I ain't got the room for it on your Switch. You got to switch out memory cards and shit. I ain't got time for that. Um, but yeah. I just thought I'd pass that along to people who do have um, Twitch Prime, which I do. Um, but I'm not getting this. I about wish I could give it to somebody else. Mm. Shit. Nope. I'm. I'm like, oh, that's some bullshit. I need some. I need some. Give me some loot that I mess with. Come on, <laughs> Twitch. They be trying. They be trying. They had that free loot every month. They can't even. They can't even give me the dates of when TwitchCon tickets gonna come out. At least you give us that first for uh, Twitch Prime members. Like give us a heads up so I can go buy my tickets. Nah, we gonna right. give you. We gonna give you a free year of uh, online service that's trash. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I've been a Twitch Prime member and I'm on almost damn. How long Amazon I bought Twitch? Anyway, since day one. Um, why I can't get a discount on damn Twitch Prime? Um, Twitch tickets. Hell, Prime that shit to me. I want two days on it. <laughs> girl, if you get it, girl, get if you won't get ever get TwitchCon tickets, get the three day one, man. Even if you don't go to all three days. <laughs> you, you better do two days because if you chewing two or more days, you gotta get a three day ticket. See. Yeah, so So what's, on what's to other the other tidbit? What's the um, other tidbit? I know how we were talking about Activision a couple of weeks ago because they was acting fool, but EA is also acting fool. Um, they laid off 350 people, mostly in marketing, operations, and I can't remember the other de department. But they still up there with Activision as you know, one of the worst companies to work for. So we're not going to take away their title just because Activision is acting food. They can share it. They can both act the food. Um, so I'm just letting pass it along that. Did EA, EA made people. Anthem though, right? Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. They are. Yeah. They uh, buy away a developer. EA published it. Um, so yeah. Uh, the thing and about that. Last, wait, oh. wait. I wanted to talk about that tidbit. First of all, okay, I'm gonna keep here. saying it. I'm gonna keep on saying it, and I'm gonna keep on saying it. Y'all people that's like in a career in the video game industry, you gotta form up some kind of union uh, to make sure when a situation like this happens that you guys are financially uh, compensated for your work that you've been doing for that company, because the more that I hear about video game companies laying off people, the more you'll hear more stories about, hey, I didn't get paid all my money, or hey, I didn't get my severance package, things like that. 
So yeah. y'all gotta unionize, man. If if the shipyard people can do it, if the pilots can do it, if the police officers can have a union, if strippers can have a union, if bartenders <laughs> and can have a union, then I'm sorry, I, I don't get it. If you a stripper and you in a union and you and you in a video game industry, which makes more money than a stripper, but you're not unionized, that's something that you guys have to deal with. You guys have to understand that. Yeah. Lady speaks. Um Honestly, because again, think about the telltale. They like it. They got their dismissal letters like what in a week, and they were gone. They literally didn't have anything until like people started getting pissed off about it. Y'all need to represent and bring get y'all shit together. Like this is millions and millions of dollars that y'all are helping create, and y'all don't see shit from it. Uh, we appreciate what y'all do, but y'all need to take a stand and unionize and do something. Um, yeah. But yes. On to our next, was our next topic is an update on a case that we reported on last year, I believe. I'm just giving an update because I think it broke late last night. Um, you remember the, the Swatton case where the gentleman got killed? Two people were arguing over the like, Call of Duty game. They got mm-hmm. to Swat one of them. Anyway, the dude that is called the Swatton in, he has been sentenced to 20 years in jail. Um, I almost wish it was more because a man lost his life over this. Um, yes, games are entertainment, games are fun, but they are not that serious, people, for the fact that you want to call the police on folks. It is not that serious. Um, it, it's, it, don't take it that far. Just don't. Um, go out, have a drink, you know, take a walk, you know, do something. Calm the fuck down. It is not that serious. Yeah. So that's my last tidbit. Do we have questions, lady? We do have them. They, oh, we, got, we got big letter questions now. Okay. Uh, oh, they fall in directions. Yay. Sweet. Okay. Question from Tiger King. How many new games do you think will be revealed later this year or either for a 2019 or 2020 release? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 should be at 2020. I think Borderlands 3 should be late 2019. That's all I got. Uh, how many games? New games? It depends. Wait, wait, wait. Triple A games or just games of period? Yeah, because if you're people. talking about new games, Xbox gonna have should have a gang of them. <laughs> yeah. In the summer. Um, I want to say honestly, if you go with triple A games, maybe a good five, six triple A games all together, maybe a good twenty. Um, that's between Nintendo, Sony, and Xbox. Like you, you saying twenty games? Yes, and that's that's that, indie, that's a- mid range, and triple A's. Okay. All right, that's a lot of games. I, honestly, we got how many studios? I got to put some shit out. Now, Hell he didn't yeah. Say, he didn't say that it was going to release. <laughs> he said reveal. Okay. He said reveal. So they don't have to actually come out this year or next year. They just have to be revealed. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. 20 sounds reasonable. 20 sounds reasonable. Okay, let me see. Question. Rain G4. Should game developers put easy modes on games because some gamers find it find some games difficult to play uh no <laughs> don't but there'll be a there'll be somebody out there be like yo this game is too hard let me return it because it doesn't have an easy mode this is true um, it depends um, what game it depends what game should be easy like if you're talking about a a children's game a a, a t rated game um yes or E or E or T ready game, yes, you should have an easy mode because you you don't want to uh, frustrated kids is the worst. <laughs> like a frustrated kid playing a video game, it, it's hilarious and sad at the same time because it's like us but younger. So, um, but anything past that, like an M ready game, it should be normal, hard, and really really hard. It shouldn't be an easy mode at all. Um, I think, and if they do, if they have to go back and add an easy mode into the game later, they should really make fun of the players when they play it. Like the first achievement you should get on it should be like something to let you know that you played this on easy. Yeah, there's um, some games. There's some games out there like that that will give you achievements because you've been play, taking the easy route. So I forgot what game though, but they do have it. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jonathan B. Hey, I see you coming through every week. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, what is the hardest game you ever completed? 
thinking about oh completed completed damn hold on i'm gonna have to say uh dark souls 3 that was hard that was fucking hard and i was playing with friends i would never yo you want to play dark souls play with your friends better honestly i think the hardest game i've ever completed by uh, and i played it by myself this is why it made it super hard to me anyway where it's gears of war on the same difficulty um my first time play through playing through on that that shit was hard as hell um them yeah halo 3 on legendary mode is tough too oh yeah oh yes halo 3 legendary like that's hard as fuck too um yeah now now i could probably breeze through it maybe it's been a couple of years so i might have forgot what everything else where everything is at but when i first played them they were hard as fuck i couldn't um, i couldn't uh i i couldn't do it man I, it was with dark souls 3 it was like i played the game and the dlc so i was so ready so when i when me and my friends beat that final boss did you cheer did you, no. did you check it out, girl? No, I laid in. The, I, I used the emote that made me lay on the on the snow with my arms and legs like wide open, like, oh, I'm done. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I will never play it after that. I, I tried to play Dark Souls too, and I was like, man, fuck this. So I was like, no, I'm not playing this. But it's good. I, I, I'm glad. I'm I'm proud that I beat that game. I'm proud of the right game. Let me see. What is questions we have left? We got a few. Um, what video game powers or what video game characters' powers would you like to have in real life? Who? Oh God. That's a tough beat. Powers. Get, so powers, yes. Powers. 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 I I can tell you. I, that's a tough one. Um, I not my the best, but what's um quantum break i wouldn't mind being able to control time yeah uh, that'd be that's a good one or mind or shape shift oh yeah yeah i would shape shift or or i don't want to control i see if i want to be really evil I, I will manipulate minds but that's just evil that's like villain status when you talking about game powers so okay wait 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 what are, have you did your alignment yet are you chaotic evil or chaotic neutral I don't know. You gotta. We're gonna have to figure it out. Maybe okay, chaotic I'm, neutral. I'm I, chaotic neutral because depending on how the situation goes, I might do a little bit of both. So you know. So I would so. say I would like shape shift. Uh, go to the bank, rob me some cash, you know, <laughs> and then reverse time and act like I wasn't even there. So see, see. <laughs> there we go. That's 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 what it is. That's what it is for me. Okay. Yeah. What about control time? Control I'm controlling time? time. I'm controlling time. Okay. Question: What video game from Rangy Four again? What video game have you ladies played that had the worst voice acting that I can Lord. remember? Oh God! Can I say uh, Mass Effect Andromeda? Oh my God! That's not great. No flashbacks. Flashbacks. They're horrible. They're horrible. Yo, that. Not only did the voice didn't match the face, but the script was trash. Compared oh to Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Oh, my God. Okay. I had a moment. I blacked it out. Sorry. Okay. I, I blacked it out. I blacked it out. Okay. Um, so you got to answer the man's question. I know. I'm trying to. The, the, the drama thing took me there for a minute. Worst voice acting. Worst voice. This generation? Oh my God! What, 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 well, look, I'm I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a I'm, a, I'm like middle age now, so I I can't like trace back <laughs> the voice acting of 20 years ago. I can only think of the I, first yeah, one I'm I can thinking. remember. Yeah, honestly, Andromeda is like the worst for this whole generation. I'm not I'm not joking. Like when it first dropped, you're sitting there like, who the fuck is talking? Because nobody's moving their mouth. Um, and like sometimes the words and match up or whatever, and we're not even gonna talk about how boring that damn story was. Um, Andromeda was bullshit. Um, yeah, we we Andromeda hands down for this generation. Mhm, mm 
Let yeah. Me see. Okay, let me see. Uh, Delilah, hey girl, I just wanted just wanted to say that I love you, ladies, and that you're doing an amazing job. I miss y'all. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Well, we miss you too. Shit, we 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 I have nice right? we have nice conversations before the show, and um, we miss you and El Boogie. But I know you guys doing big things over there. And we are proud of you, and we holding down the fort. And I can't wait for you guys to come back and share your experience with us. So next week, um, yes, eat lots of good food for I, me. Yo, she pulled out some steak. Ah, <laughs> I'm dying. I want some steak. Um, so let me see. Um, let me check if I have any more questions. That might be the last one. Um, I think it is. So what you planning to do later, Sharice? Of course, well, the vision, baby, the vision. Hey, truck it out, truck it out, truck it out. Um, <laughs> all right, then. Um, I do not see any more questions. Um, but uh, that's it. We ain't got no questions, Sharice. All right, then. Well, everybody, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Share out the link for us. Um, but yes, thank y'all again for listening to us. We appreciate y'all spending y'all. Um, afternoon slash morning with us. Um, what you got for me, lady? Um, I just want to say everybody that showed up, show us love every week, and all the new people. Thank you so much for coming by, interacting with us. Y'all, y'all juice keep us flowing. So I want to give a shout out to L Boogie and Delilah HD Fiber Optic Cables. Having fun in <laughs> Seattle. We miss you. Come back, please. <laughs> and I know, right? And everybody that just come through and watch us, and the lurkers. We know you there. We know you watching. Don't press no buttons to know that you there, but we know that you there. Thank you for watching us as well. Um, I will definitely, I think we're going to do what? A grown woman game uh, night? Game night? The division? Hell yeah. We going to bump lady up. Yeah. They going to carry me to victory. Um, you can <laughs> check me. Um, you know where you can check me at. You know, lady underscore infamous 30. And just thank you guys. Uh, with I just want to say thanks. That's all. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Again, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. Um, check us out later on this afternoon, tonight, whatever. We're gonna be drinking and gaming. Um, yeah, because I didn't drink <laughs> all my alcohol last night. So yeah. I know, right? Me <laughs> okay. Just somebody <laughs> ate all my chocolate cake. <laughs> but yeah. Um, catch us later. We'll be on all night again. Thank y'all for um hanging with us today, and we'll see y'all later. Bye, you guys. Have a great day.